Franco. Hey. How you doing, my guy? G. Um, G. That's Frank. Joy. Hi, Frank. I'm Joy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Mm. Jared has told me a lot about you. Whoa, and I hope he told you nice things about me. What is nice about you? <laughs> Are you a nice person? Come on, <laughs> yes, he said nice things about you. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'm a nice guy. Baby, Baby good guy. Sit down. Um, what would you like to take? Maybe something a little bit hard. Hard? Strong, yeah. Strong hard. You like your hard, right? I like your hard. <laughs> yeah, that's my girl. Excuse Come me. On. Can you get us something hard and strong? <laughs> uh, babe? Yeah? I would want to use the ladies. I'll be back shortly. Sure, sure, sure. Don't stay too long, yeah? All right. I Careful. Won't. Bye, baby girl. All right. It's all right. <laughs> Frank, Frank. Ooh, man. G, man. <laughs> He catches one again. I uh, met her at the ball. See, I don't really remember how we got talking, but uh, I just remember I smashed her the same day. Same day? Same day. <laughs> same day. And since then, she's been farming the ball, you know. You know the G factor, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you did this thing now. Cut me some more soap now. Uh, you want to know? Uh, yeah, I mean. The G factor. See, once these ladies encounter the G factor, they always come back. Wow. Uh, you need to teach me, man. I really want to be like you when I grow up. Sure. <laughs> I'm telling you. But you, I mean, you're a faithful guy. You always stick to one woman. How do you do it? How do you stay all your life with just <sighs> one woman? Nah, I'm sick, bro, man. They're all the same. Uh, there's nothing that they have that my Jamaica does not have. It is still the same hole, the same ten and ten. No, days. no, Franco. It's never the same. See, the texture is different. Mm -hmm. The size is different. The shape is different. The juice is different. The penetration becomes different. <laughs> <laughs> what I love most is that penetration thing. <laughs> but, but, eh? but see, one man, one woman as a person. Amen, amen, amen. Hey, baby, you're back. I hope I didn't stay too long. No, 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 you didn't. Um, All right, let me have my drink. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, All right, thank you. Cool. Is it strong enough? Very hard. <laughs> Jared? Natasha. So What's true? You know what? When my friend called and told me with another woman, I thought she was joking. What are you doing okay, here? What am I doing here, Gerard? What Gerald? Gerald? Who is she? Um, she's just a friend. Did you just call me a friend? Are you denying our friendship because of this slut? How dare you call me a slut? Yes, baby girl, you're a slut. Likewise, every woman in your family. Did you just How slap me? You? You, Gerald, she did you just slap me? Well, uh, I will slap you again. Uh, Gerald, you didn't tell her. Natasha. Oh, did you just slap me? Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Uh, wait, wait. 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 <laughs> oh my Considering what happened at the body the other day, you're good. Why do you think I'm not good? Don't I look fine to you? Oh, well, I was just uh, I was just asking. Yeah. So how have you been? Good, good, good. It's one of those days shit happens. Uh, one of those days. 
happiness. Yeah. But I mean, this is not the first time females are fighting over me, and neither would they be the last time. It's like this happened. I don't understand. Like, you're just sitting down there watching them fight. You don't even care. Like, you, you, you didn't even try to separate them. You, you were just watching. Okay, wait. You wanted me to separate them? Brother, you want them to injure this my fine face that I'm using to do small, small market? They want to fight. They have the energy. Mm. They should fight. And my you, you don't feel guilty at all. Why should I still? Why would you feel guilty? They have energy. They want to exercise their power. Woman. And so now, so they'll fight. I mean, it's fun when you see ladies fighting over you. It kind of gives you some, some, some vibe. But to be told, Natasha is problem. You know, I'm just tired of her incessant behavior and disturbances. If she hadn't barging on us, none of this would have happened. Uh, speaking of Natasha, oh, I mean, when did you see her last? Have you heard from her since no, then? I don't remember. I've not. And um, I don't really care. I don't care. I thought she's your main babe, like main, 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 main babe. Main babe. Main babe. <laughs> main babe. Mm -hmm. Do I look like I have a main babe? Or do I look like I can have a main babe? No, you see, I'm like, like the bark and um, the girls are the soldiers. So, soldier goes, soldier comes. Soldier goes, soldier comes. That's how it's been. The bark still remains, you know. Uh, so you're trying to tell me that you are the Barack Obama of all time? Not necessarily. It's the Barack Obama. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so, how's your wife? Oh, she's my girlfriend. Sorry, maybe it's a prophetic thing. Maybe I've seen into the future. Yeah? To get to that level, I should go now. <laughs> <I'm your friend. laughs> How are you doing? Mm. What are you looking at? I'm looking through a fashion picture. I'm trying to see if I could find uh, a design to sew with Bemis as well. Ah, it's true. Ah, uh -uh, you forgot. I've not even thought about what to do with my own style yet. Well, look at this one. Hmm, this is beautiful. Right. <laughs> it's so plainly patterned and ah, nice. It will look so good on you. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> Naomi, I can't wait to get married. Mm. Honestly. On my wedding day. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> Social media will be on fire. <laughs> that even Mark Zuckerberg himself. Uh, we know that Naomi mm -hmm. is getting married. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be your chief bridesmaid. Of course. Uh -huh. It is only you <laughs> and you and nobody else. Okay. <laughs> All you need to do, just pray. Pray fervently for me. Mm. That, you know, I should get the right man now. Not all these frogs that I've been kissing. God will do it for you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Prophetess Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I am praying so well for you to get married. So you start getting jealous every time I'm making love with Paul. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Must well, you bring that one? Mm-hmm. But you know you are very shameless. What are you saying? <gasps> This is how you could just be going around and just oppressing people, hmm. homeless people like us. Really? Yes, now, you could just be oppressing me, you know, with all the kisses and smooshes, hmm. without even thinking how I feel. Hmm. Yes, without shame. Oh, I don't have shame. I sold my shame a long time ago. <laughs> Am I the one that said you should not get a relationship? Okay, sorry, oh, Mrs. Relationship, just pardon us. Uh-huh. Eat biscuits, if you want to. She is this one that Paul bought for you. Uh-huh. Oh, you see? <laughs> no problem. I agree. You won. <laughs> but, girl, see this one. Mm. I think this one is made for you. You know? Oh, to this is that nice. Down. Show me the other one, please.
Hi, madam. I'm Inspector Gerald. Okay, Inspector Gerald. How may I help you? You're under arrest, madam. What? You for, heard me. For what? What did I do wrong? you find out when we get to the station. Hell no, I'm going nowhere with you. That's how you, all of you go about oppressing people. I know my right and I will call my lawyer. There'll be no need for that, madam. You're guilty of the crime I'm arresting you for. So you don't have to call your lawyer. Do you need to tell me exactly what I did wrong? Because I am a law-abiding citizen. What did I do wrong? You really want to know? Yes. You want to know? Yes. Okay, so I'll tell you. Okay. I'm arresting you for being too beautiful. What? I mean, it's not normal. You've taken all the beauty in the universe for yourself alone. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, it's just a prank. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Do you know my heart skipped out of my body yeah. because of all the things you've been saying? Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, what could an angel like you possibly do wrong? Apart from taking away my breath. <laughs> You are very funny. That's what she said. Gerald. Okay. Without the inspector. I'm Dora. Dora, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, the inspector would like to have your number. Hmm. That's okay. Okay, 070 <laughs> Call you. Okay. back yep welcome thank you so did you get my perfume i won't even see that did you i got i got it did you i got it see it here thank you god hello 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 Who's this? Um, this is Inspector Gerald, remember? Oh, Gerald, hi. Yeah, I'll just call in to find out if you've finally gotten home. Yes, I have. How about you? Well, I've been home since. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> I am still not recovered from that prank you pulled on me at the supermarket. No, see, I was just emphasizing on how little your beauty is. Thank you very much. <laughs> your sense of humor is out of this world, I must say. You know, your beauty can literally be used as a weapon to take the breath of many men away. I just killed them. <laughs> Thank you very much for that compliment. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess I will... I'll leave you to rest. I'll call you some other time. Okay then. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> so, who is that? Uh, well, mm -hmm. some guy I met at the supermarket. Hmm. Some guy you met at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. The way you're smiling and blushing. What was that one? Mm, this guy <laughs> doesn't look like some guy you met at the supermarket. Dora. Uh, like I said, I met him at the supermarket. And he's cool. He has a good sense of humor. Mm. And you know how I like funny people. So. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, he's a prospect? Uh, hmm. Maybe. 
maybe not. Okay. Let's see how things turn out. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Hmm. I don't like the way you're looking mm -hmm. at me. I, do, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I perfume. He's here. Mm. I will go and keep it upstairs for you. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I know where you stash it, so don't worry. Okay. Did you cook? Hmm? Cook? Yes, I did. I prepared the vegetable soup. I don't want. With to pounded be. yam. I don't want. And the rich, rich. People are making rice. We have to cook. Mm. <laughs> you didn't see why you are selling food out there. <laughs> um, Gerald, yeah. uh, who is this woman you're talking to that is making you laugh like this? Um, how did you know it's a woman? How won't I know it's a woman? Who else would be making you <laughs> laugh like this? <laughs> I'm sure you started deceiving her with one of those your dry pickup lines. Dry pickup lines? Come yeah. on, bro. I mean, you know my pickup lines are the real ish. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so where is she and what did you tell her? Um, she's called Dora. Dora. Yeah. I met her at the supermarket a few days ago and, um, you know, I just used one of my pickup lines. Boom! I just sent her like that. Just like that? Just like that. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so which of these uh, pickup lines did you use? I used <laughs> I used the police inspector format. Yeah. <laughs> You're under arrest. <laughs> As she fell. Oh, she fell. Boom. Like that. Just like that. Just like that. I mean, you, no, do you, you need to learn from me. No, no. I'm, the one I like the most is the um, is it the Barton and the No, one? no, no. The real estate. <laughs> that's the yeah, that's it. I actually own the house. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, gee, with the G factor. The G factor, man. Wow. Works. No, 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 seriously, I need to learn from you. Yeah, you need to. You need mm -hmm. to. You need to. Ah, I, should be, I should be listening to our conversation. She's used to us now. <laughs> Anyways, she's a member. <laughs> she's a member. Real estate developer. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> the G with the factor. Yeah, man, the G factor. Works, bro. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Daryl. Hello, baby. How are you doing? I'm good. And you? Cool like breeze. <laughs> okay. What are you up to? Mm, I actually just sit it. Mm. Prepping for a client's makeup. I'm waiting for her to come. Hmm. I hope it comes out nice. Of course. Why not? I am the best there is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you're the baddest. <laughs> uh, so, um, what's up for the evening? Are you busy? Uh, no, not really. Why? Um... I was thinking maybe we could do dinner, you and I. Oh, okay. That would be good. What time? Um, let's say uh, 8 p.m. Is that cool? 8 p.m.? 8. Yes, it's a deal. So I will, um, I'll send you the address to the place, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll be expecting. Hey. See you soon. Bye. The G factor is working. By the time I finish with these girls, they'll know what time it is, man.
You look beautiful. Thank you. You don't look so bad yourself. See, that's the problem I have with compliment. When you say I don't look bad myself, it's either I'm looking good or I'm looking bad. Now you're making me feel like a beast. Sitting beside you, I look like a monster. I mean, you're just too beautiful that I can <laughs> even help it. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know you have a way of making me laugh. You never cease to amuse me. That's the least I can do for an angel like you. <laughs> Flattery, okay. No, I'm not, I'm not flattering. I'm just stating the obvious, you know. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. From the look of things, uh, it looks like you're going to say a lot of thank you today. <laughs> because a lot of compliments are going to be coming up. Okay. You keep saying thank you. So, okay. I can tell God created you on a very special day, you know. See, when God was creating you, I was around, so. Yeah, I was. Okay. Yeah. You know, he actually declared a, a public holiday in heaven. All the angels had to stay put so he could bold a beautiful girl like you. I see. Okay. <laughs> you did a good job. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, the thank way... you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank so you. Good. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. You flatter me too much. I mean, you deserve it, baby. And with the way you're going, I might end up literally having a big head, so big that it's not going to fit into my wig. Don't worry, when your head explodes, I think I can help you mend it, because I was around when God was molding you. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I just that guy in the corner, I was like, go Jesus, do it Lord, do it. <laughs> Yes, I'm coming back home. Yes, ma. I won't stay up late. <laughs> okay. Bye now. Um, that must be your flatmate. Yes. He was actually calling to check if I would come back home tonight. Okay. What did you do, tell her? Of course, I'm coming back home. Like, dumb. You know, going to my house? Huh. Did I just sense someone is trying to cajole me to his no, house? No, no, no. Just looking at the time. It's quite late, you know. A beautiful girl like you to be, oh. you know, walking around late in the night. I mean, you know. Even if I decide to drop you, I mean, it's still late, so. I see. See, not only are you beautiful, hmm. you're also very brainy. That's what makes you a complete woman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you too. <laughs> so can we, can we go now? So fast? You haven't even paid for the bill. Oh yeah, it's just the excitement, you know, the excitement of an angel coming to my abode. Uh -huh. Her Excellency, the Lady Goddess, coming to my house. It's a big deal, you know? I don't want to rush. I just don't want to get ahead of myself. It's just the excitement. Don't okay. worry, I'll, I'll pay for the stuff on our way out. Okay. So, ready when you are. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> I have to call Naomi and tell her that I won't be coming back. Okay, well, you can do that in the car. That shouldn't be a problem. You can oh, do that in the car. Okay. Here's my humble abode. Wow. Your house is beautiful. Thank you. There's nothing humble about this. Thank you. I'm just trying to make it conducive for a queen like you to make it a home someday. Okay. Hmm. Why are you staring at me like that? I'm dazzled by your beauty. 
haven't seen a beauty like this before. I'm melting for you. You're very sweet. I... You don't want to know what's on my mind. Oh, please, tell me what's on your mind. I can't tell you. But I can show you. Okay. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Welcome, sir. Uh, how are you, Mr. Derek? How is work going? Um, by his grace, work is fine. It's just that uh, the workload is too much, but I'm trying. <laughs> That's nice. I came to inform you that um, the management have decided to bring in a new intern to assist in your department. Wow. Wow. That's that's good news. That's good news. That's good news. Hmm. God has finally answered my prayers. That's good news. So, she'll be working closely with you? Um, how, how close? The two of you will share this office. Oh, that's, that's, that's brilliant. That's, that sounds good. She'll be at my beck and call. And um, she will resume work on Monday. Wow. That's... That's impressive. That's very fast. All right, that'll be all for now. So okay. I will see you later. All right. Thank you, sir. Wow. Sounds so good. Better be pretty, you know. Better be pretty. <laughs> was hectic today. Can you imagine our MD increased our target? Guess what he increased it to? What are you doing? What are you, who are you staring at? Come on, give it back. Why are you staring at him like that? No, me. He's perfect for me. How do you know he's perfect for you? You've only been with him for a while. Well, you don't need to be with someone for so long to know that they're exactly what you want. Hmm. I mean, Gerald is everything I want in a man. Mm -hmm. He's caring, loving, mm. adorable. Mm. <laughs> And most importantly, he's very funny. I've not seen any man in this world with so much quality all at once. Hmm. I've fallen deeply for him, Naomi. So, I guess he's Mr. Right. I don't think he's Mr. Right. I know he's Mr. Right. I mean, I've never seen anyone that have been this compatible with all my life. Does he love you as much as you love him? Of course he does. Because he told you so. Yes, in words and in actions. Hmm. So I guess um, wedding bell will be ringing soon. Well, I don't know. That's less for him to say. It's not for me. Besides, I won't propose to myself. But you don't propose to him. Mm -mm. It's not only proposed to him, it's proposed for him. If proposing is that easy, how come you've not proposed to your own long-time boyfriend? Well, 
If you must know, I will soon propose to him. I'm only waiting for the money for the ring to be complete. <laughs> and then I'll pop with the question. <laughs> I have money. How much do you need? Come on, Dad, you have money. How much uh, do you have? I'm expecting something you do. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll shock you. Oh, oh, oh my God. What? <sighs> Gerald asked me to come over and make him food. So this is me rushing to the market to get things I will use. That's why material. One thousand yachts. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I made you food just in case you want any. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I needed that. This is delicious. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I love it. It's as tasty as you. Hmm. <laughs> okay. See, not only are you, you're a full wife material, a full package. Not only are you brainy, you're smart, Oh boy, you can cook. Okay. Damn, you can cook. Where have you been? All this while? Well, I've been right here waiting for you to discover me. Discover? Is that not a channel on DSTV? Discovery Channel? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. What are you thanking me for? I mean, for bringing so much joy back into my life. I used to feel there is no such thing as a perfect man. Mm. But after I spent so much time with you, <laughs> I am taking that word right back. I have never loved anyone as much as I love you, Gerald. Yeah, sorry. 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 Yeah, continue. <laughs> but on a serious note, I really, honestly, truly, helplessly love you. Mm. I love you. Eat your food for gets cold. Yeah, yeah, my food. Yeah, this food tastes as you are. Hmm. Mm hmm I can go ahead and eat it and eat it before I eat you. I'm not on the menu. Since this food is on the menu. Okay. You're next in line. Mm -mm. We eat this. You have to pay for it. How much? Very much. A goalie. <laughs> Are you all right? This is why you're neglecting your drink. Oh, I'm um, just a bit, you know, feeling a bit strange. I don't know. It's... Are you all right? I'm fine. Are you sick? I'm fine. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. So, you know, um. I think I'm falling for Dora. 
No, that is not possible. I mean, it is not possible at all. Gerald was a chief factor falling in love with Dora. No, no, Gerald, it's not possible. Well, um, I didn't actually say, you know, I've fallen for her. I, I'm like, you know, I mean, the process, you know, it's a process. It's not like, I'm, you know. <laughs> Gerald, he said, whether you're falling for her, but you're beginning to fall in love. The synthesis there is love. Do you understand? And there is fall. That's kind of bad, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Not at all. I mean, it is good for a guy to be faithful to one woman. Just like me. Well, um, I don't really know if it's love or infatuation. You know, I'm just confused. Gerald, I want you to relax, okay? See, if it is infatuation, it will definitely fade away because it is superficial, all right? But if it is true love, I mean, gradually, it will start growing. You need to be building. That's how it is. Cool. So. So what? Are you in love? I told you what's the process. I mean, it's still, anything can happen in the process. It's not a final <laughs> product yet. It's a process. <laughs> G with a G factor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so when are they playing the match? I don't know. I'm looking at the pool that. Come right. Oh. Come on, sir. Good morning, Mr. Jared. This is Miss Ivy, the intern I told you about. Oh, Miss Ivy. I know your name is Jared. Mr. Kunle just said so. Oh. Nice to meet you. Um, that's, don't mind me. I was thinking of something else. You're welcome. Should we share this office with you? Oh, great. Miss Ivy, it's a very nice man. I have no doubt you have a good time working with you. Okay. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. Nicest guy in the company. Miss Ivy is not a novice in operation department. Her experience from company outside. So we need you to pull her through all her things that don't hurt. Most definitely. Most definitely. All right. I'm in my office now. Okay, sir. Miss Ivy, welcome once again. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, please do sit down. Oh, thanks. I like it. You like what? Your name, it's Ivy. It suits a beauty like you. Thank you. So, what's the meaning of your name? Um, can we please go straight to work? I know I have a lot of catching up to do. Oh, oh wow. You're the workaholic type. That's good. You love to work, eh? Let me remind you. All work and no play. Make Ivy a dull girl. You don't want to be dull around here. Anyway, since you mentioned work, <coughs> let's get to it. Yeah. Go through the files and let me know. All right. So basically, um, we manufacture, you know, a furniture product and sell them in wholesale or retail to um, our off takers in the country. Um, we, we got a flexible payment plan. Uh, let's say seventy percent in cash and 30% credit. Normally, we look out for those who have good credit, you know, and um, uh, kind of have a generous policy for purchases, good discount that we give. Uh, our products are, you know, of highest, oops, I spare time. Uh, we will stop here and uh, continue when we get back. Okay, okay that's fine. Um, can I buy you lunch? No, thank you. No, I mean, can I pay for your food? Take you out, get your food. That's what I mean. I know, and that's why I said no. You won't. Wow. 
No one turns down free lunch. Ivy does. Wow. That's kind of strange. No one has ever turned me down. I see. So, I've broken that record. Surprisingly, you have. Okay. So, how are you going to get food? I'll ask a restaurant around. Why would you want to go through that trouble? Just follow me to the restaurant. I mean, you buy your food, you pay for your food. It's as simple as that. I see. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just the bill. 9,000 in West Island. How much is mine? My own is 4,000. Other one is 5,000 in Okay. Alright, cool. So how are we paying? Cash or card? Card, definitely. Alright, cool. Um, can you please help me with your POS? Okay, sir. Alright. Um, can you excuse me for a minute? I need to use the ladies. Sure, sure. Alright, All right. I'll be right back. Alright. Where's this girl, man? Hello? So I'm back. Oh, okay. Let's go. No, I'm waiting for the girl so I can. You don't have to. What do you mean I don't have to? I've not paid her. I've settled the view. Both of us. Well, no woman has ever paid for anything for me. Well, let's see. I've broken your record twice. Thank you. Let's go. All right. Thank you. Strange. Very strange. Hmm. Um, gee, are you are you okay or are you feeling strange again? She surprised me. Okay. Alright. But what did the right do this time? It's not the right Ivy. And who is Ivy again? <laughs> Ivy is the new intern in my department. And what does she do? Can you believe <clears throat> I asked this girl out for lunch and she refused? She refused? In today's world? I yeah. Mean, which, 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 which woman will refuse free, free lunch? <laughs> That's what surprises me. <laughs> so? You know, Later on, I was able to convince her to go with me to the restaurant, provided she's going to pay for her food and I pay for mine. Then she did something very strange again. Uh, did she pay? Not only did she pay for her food, she paid for me too. Whoa. Yeah. You know. When that's we, strange. Quite strange. Yeah, that's, I've not met a girl like that. When we go back to the office, you know, I just sat down, thought about the whole thing, and I'm like, no, this girl, there's something about this girl that makes me, you know, like her more. <laughs> nah, yeah, Gerard, see, see, see. I know how you feel right now, uh, but see, you can like her. Uh, no crime in liking somebody, but don't like her too much. Remember, you have Dora. Dora is old meat. Huh? Dora is old meat. Oh, now Dora is old meat. No, I, I was. I was. No, 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 wait, wait. Now Dora is old meat. Uh, but, but you said you were, you yes. were falling in love. Yes, I was. I, I told you it was a process. You see, now. Oh, I'll talk to you to Dora. No, no, no. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. She's disturbing me. Uh, but you want to talk to Dora? No. I'll talk to Dora later. 
Now all I need to do is to find a way of getting Ivy. I need to turn on my G swag. That's what I need to do. Yeah. Where's the white ball? Did you put the white ball? Why are you staring at me like that? It's making me uncomfortable. <clears throat> you know, I was just I was just thinking how happy God was when he was creating you. I'm very sure he created you on the seventh day. Because if I look at you, you look like someone who was created from the point of rest. There's no way God could have created you the same day you created some of us. Thank you. Is that all you're gonna say? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Look, I I need to see your parents. And I'm gonna ask them just one question. What at all did they do to God? For God to reward them with such such angelic beauty. Look, your beauty is, is out of this world. Why are you so beautiful? Are you hating on me? I mean, why not? I mean, it's such a beautiful masterpiece. Every guy would want to shoot a shot. Oh, please. Shoot your shot, Elsa. Why? Are you, are you dating or are you in a serious relationship? Neither. So why can't I shoot my shot? Because... I don't find you romantically attractive. Sorry, well, excuse me, what, what did you say? You heard me. I said, I don't find you romantically attractive. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're saying you don't find me romantically attractive? Drop that gorgeous guy like me. You don't find me attractive. Do you don't even know me? Drop that, drop that gorgeous? It takes more than that to make me attracted to you. You don't, you don't even know, you know, or you don't know the size I carry. Wait, 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 wait. So if I ask you out right now, you won't accept? I wouldn't do that. In fact, that was the reason I didn't allow you to pay for my food the other day. Because I don't want to lead you on. Really? So, was that why you paid for my food? I paid for your food to show you that I'm not enticed by little things like that. Hello, Dora. I'm fine, and you? How you doing? You're not fine. Why? Are you sick? What's wrong? Malaria, fever, what's going on with you? <laughs> Lack of vitamin D, right? You must be funny. Look, you haven't done anything wrong, okay? It's just that I've been busy with work, okay? Busy. Baby, I said it's work. I'm busy with work. Um, not tonight. Maybe some other time, okay? Um, 
Yeah, let's do it some other time. Bye. Are you trying to entice me with a gift? Well, I say something like that. <laughs> Very funny. I told you, I'm not attracted to a guy by what he has or how he looks. I see beyond those. Okay. So, so what an attracts you to a guy? You'll find out with time. For now, you have to take this back. I don't need it. Keep it. Oh boy. Gerald, I don't understand. Hmm. I don't, how, how can she say that? That she does not find you uh, romantically attractive. Can no, you imagine? That's impossible. That's what she said. Oh, you. A whole you. General Gerald. <laughs> huh? The guy that will go into, into a club and the whole girls will just be going gaga. Huh? The guy that comes out, you always come out with dripping swags <laughs> and she, she says she, she's not seen it. That, that's what she said, you know. You see, all the girls that fell for me in the past, they just fell into my arms like that when I used my pickup line. Mm -hmm. And this Ivy girl, she looked at me straight in the eyes. She's like, Gerald, I don't find you romantically attractive. I'm like, Boom. Wow. <laughs> this is serious. Yeah, this is the first time. Seriously. I'm getting such vibe. Yeah. I, I, I think you should just forget about her and focus on um, Dora. No, 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 no. If I forget about her, then it will look like I'm a coward. It's a challenge. <laughs> I need to pursue her. So how do you intend to do that? I don't know. You know, she's just cute. <laughs> All my pickup lines has been futile in. Uh, well, I, I think the way to get um, someone like this huh, is to be friends with her. Do you understand? You, that, that was how I got my, my girlfriend, Chiamaka. First of all, you will be friends with them. Uh, do you understand? And from friends, you guys will just end up being lovers. I'm telling you, just be very close to them. That's why you're smart. Yes. I think that idea will work. <laughs> Just become a friend. Friend, yeah. Platonic friend. Well, Tommy, you're not friend. going to think of macking mm. or anything. Mm. Mm. I think that'll work. It will. That'll work. You know, You're very smart. I'm not, what are you saying? I use you know, it now. You have the F factor. Uh, no, no, no. I still have the G factor. My <laughs> oh, guy. Nice one, nice I'm one. I'm still nice using one. it. If wow. you follow them to Crusade, yeah, go to Nine Video. Fellowship. 
Friday like all night that. service. Sunday first service. Yes, after work, go and drop out like that. Sit down you, in the you car. Do things that were attracted. That's my guy. She's your friend. Work that out. And before you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, ah, Gerald with a G factor. <laughs> no, you have the F factor. You're smart, you're smart, you're smart. The, smart. <laughs> the faithful man with the one wife. <laughs> Can I ask you something? I hope it's not about if I am attracted to you. Because hmm. I don't want to answer that question. Well, you've already made me aware that you're not attracted to me, so... I've accepted my fate. Thanks for your understanding. So, what's your question about? Okay, so... Um, if you are to, you know, switch your profession to your hobby, what will it be? Hmm. That's a good question. It's definitely photography. Photography? Yes. Are you that dope a photographer? Well, I'm trying. Can we see some of the pictures you've taken? Sure. Hold on. I have to delete some things. Wait, wait. Is someone trying to hide some nudes? <sighs> okay, so yeah. There you go. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. I know. You took good pictures. Wow. It's impressive. Thank you. You planning on having a photo studio? Well, maybe sometime in the future. You should. I mean, you're too good to be a roadside photographer. So, what about you? If you had to convert a hobby to a career, what would that be? That would definitely be football. Don't tell me you like football. Of course, I love football. I love football too. Are you kidding me? Come on. I'm not. <laughs> okay, my favorite team is Chelsea. No, no, no. You you love blues? The yes. blues? Yes, of blues. <laughs> no, no, no. no. You, you don't come across as someone who loves football. You don't look like a football freak. I know. You know what they say. Loose can be deceiving, so that's why I don't get enticed by it. Okay. Alright. See, we have a lot in common. I guess so. <laughs> Anyways, it's lunchtime. Can we go have lunch? No, oh, no, I'll pass. Ivy. You need to... You need to calm down, relax, okay? Don't be too uptight. It's just lunch. You go to the restaurant, you buy your food, I buy my food. You pay for yourself, I pay for myself. It's not a big deal. Alright. Okay. This restaurant never ceases to amaze my taste board with delicious food. Well, let's say they they know how to use their onions. <laughs> I saw what you did there. They know how to use their onions, as in they know their craft. And they know how to use onions to cook their food. That was smart. You know, I'm happy the joke landed so well. Because several attempts to make you laugh has failed. Finally, there's something to cheer you. Yeah. Um, wake up, please. What? I thought you said you were going to let me pay for my food. That's not true. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Please, give him back his money. Give him back his money. Bro, 
Funky, funky. Mm -hmm. You know, this method of um, starting as a friend is beginning to work. She's letting her guard down. I told you. I told you it was going to work. You did. You see, see there's not like building a relationship, you know, gradually from friendship and then you build it to something stronger. That is how it should be. I told you to work. Yeah, it's, it's, it's true, you know. I'm, I'm beginning to see some things I like about her. Unlike other girls, you know, like, I meet them, I ask them out. Immediately we start dating. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, from strangers straight to lovers. And we start banging. <laughs> That is why those relationships did not last. Because mm. those relationships were built on lust and not love or friendship. Hmm. That's a fact. You know, Ivy and I are building this rapport and I'm loving it. You know, this rapport that I can't really explain, but you know, there's this connection. This connection. Something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so good. I can see you're enjoying this girl's company. You're really enjoying it. Yeah, I am. And I'm looking forward to more, you know, hanging around with her, you know, spending quality time. Mm -hmm. See, we can just like forever. We we'll talk about literally everything. And I don't get bored. And the interesting part is we can talk and talk, and I don't even worry about sex, which is strange. Mm -hmm. She's the first woman that I, you know, be with her now. That yeah. is how a true relationship should be. You understand? Where you enjoy each other's company. That is how it should be because it is built on, on, on love and not lost. And it doesn't have to do with just sex, 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 sex. So the best thing. But you build it from friendship to lovers and you know it will start building until it gets something uh, somewhere that is very strong. Mm. It shouldn't be all about sex. So that is why you lost all those uh, relationships, all those other things. Yeah, because it was built and lost and not love. Mm. Mm -hmm. but then again, you know, I'm just thinking, I mean, I'm thinking, is it because maybe you have no, you know? You've not seen this Shukoto. I've not seen this show. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know if it's if it's there's Riverside, flower, if there's, or there's net. Butch meat in there, <laughs> or if there's cowboy one. You know, sometimes you can see it. You know. <laughs> yes, no, no, sir. So just, just take it gradually. It will, it will happen. Gradually. It will happen. You know, you're the one that's they're supposed to be calling the G guy, the G factor guy. It's not me. No, no, no. Because you, no, you, you really see, got the vibes. We bro. have what are called the G, G spots. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. And we have the G factor. You understand. And we have so the Franco yeah. effect. <laughs> good morning, Gerald. Hi, good morning, Ivy. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How was your night? Fine, and yours? Oh, we're doing good. Uh, what are you doing after work today? Are you busy? Nothing. Why do you ask? So I got two tickets to go see a football game. I was thinking you would like to go with me. You just gave me an offer I wouldn't turn down. So is that a yes? Yes. Um, I think I got a proposal from Walter Anger. He said he wanted to purchase some dining set. Yeah. About 25 pieces. Please, um, I don't know, have you been able to go through the purchase order from Uchina and Oh, no, I, I haven't. Please do, do check it out. I think he's buying a lot of um, dining set, about 100 pieces of dining set. Mm, okay. Please do. Okay,
So thank you for taking me to see the game tonight. I'm glad you liked it. Yes, I did. Thanks again. You're welcome. Um, so what are you doing tomorrow? You know, it happens to be a weekend. Nothing. I'll probably be at home. Wow. <laughs> what a way of spending the weekend. That would be boring. <laughs> I know. I have few friends. And I don't really go out. Okay. There's this um, park, natural park, I would love to take you to. I mean, it's a cool place. You can come with your camera, take pictures, and do other stuff. I mean, if that's okay with you, cool. Okay, that's fine. I guess it's better than staying at home and dying of boredom. So I take it like, um, I take it as I'll, I'll see you tomorrow then. Sure. All right, cool. All right. All right. Good night. Good night. Park is really it's beautiful. beautiful. Right? Yes. Unfortunately, it looks like the trees haven't eaten enough. They live very dry again. Then you should talk to the government about it. Or talk to the gods. Really? Uh, the government has got nothing to do with trees not growing <laughs> properly. <laughs> it's, oh, it's the rain yeah. and the weather. Hmm. I wish so. I could pluck some of these apples for you. You can't find any apple. I can't. Imagine your apple. <laughs> <laughs> you're very funny. That's what she said. She said you're very funny. Yeah. But this thing was scary in the night. Mm. Quite a serene environment. And yeah. you know what? Yeah. I think this place is going to be very beautiful for pictures. What do you pictures? think? Pictures? You want to try your photography skills? Yes. So what and do I do? You are going to be my model. Okay. <laughs> so come over here and pose. Okay. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. Is this better? Mm. Oh. Uh, so how do I pose? Oh, Is this just, okay? Yes, it's okay. fine. Um, okay. No, 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 you no. Don't I like don't that? want that. Yes, okay. you should. Okay. Uh, okay. Should I bring out my lips? What? <laughs> okay. Don't do that, please. Hey, right. oh. can you give me that one-sided pose again? This one? Yes, please. No, the other way. The other side? Yes, please. There you go. Hmm, these pictures are really nice. Is it nice? Should I walk to you? It's okay. <laughs> no, where you are, it's right. fine. Right, cool. Just one more. One more, yeah? Yeah. Should I jump it up like that? Oh, please, stop. Just, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. All right, hands in my pocket. Yeah. Is that me? Should I bring my tongue out? What? No! <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I think right. I'm okay. You got some nice and pictures? This is really nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes, thank you. Your photography skills are impeccable. Mm -hmm. thank Maybe you. I should just post this on the last giddy page. I mean, you might win. Oh, I'm sure we'll stand a chance to win. I mean, you look like a supermodel in this picture. Thank you. Someone finally admits I'm attractive. I never said you were not attractive. I only said I don't find you romantically attractive. What's the difference? There is a huge difference. Romantic attraction is deeper. It's an attraction that bonds the soul and creates a connection between two people. While the other one that people mistake for love is a sexual attraction. It's when you're attracted to a person physically. I see. It now tells what I've been feeling of late. What did you say? Oh, nothing. Okay. So I'm glad you now know the difference. Yeah, thank you for teaching me. No. Not only do I know the difference, I, I can feel the difference. 
Um, I, I have to go now. I need to go prepare for work tomorrow. Sure, sure. All right, let's, let's get right. going. All right. You like it here? Mm, I do. Maybe we'll do it some other time. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, this year you're telling me I still don't understand. No, oh, it's true, bro. I, I finally, you know, figured it out. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm asking. What did you figure out? Okay, so you see, all the women I've been with, I was um, sexually attracted to them. I wasn't romantically attracted to them. Yeah, I don't understand. What do you mean by you were sexually attracted to them, but not... Uh, um, um, what romantically. romantically attracted to them. I don't understand. What's the difference between yeah, sexually I, and romantically? I understand your confusion. I mean, it was the same way I was feeling until Ivy schooled me. Now, when I say sexually attracted to a woman, it means all I want to do is knock, quack, 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 done. But um, when I'm romantically attracted to the lady, it means there's a deeper connection, you know. Yeah. So what you're trying to tell me is that you have not or never been with someone that is or that you're romantically attracted to before. All the ones that have been coming your way just for the knocking papers like you uh, said. That's like closely true. Yeah, but um Ivy is different. Mm. So, you you are beginning to feel strange, um, the way you felt for Dora. Um, no, this time is different. What I feel for Ivy is it's deeper. It's real. I love her. It's deeper. You love her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still don't understand. I thought you just wanted to win this Ivy set and then break her heart. Yeah, that was the initial plan. But as time went on, I, I developed true love for her. Like something deeper. It would be very stupid of me to break her heart. I mean, mm. I love her. <laughs> and so what happens to Dora? Gee, what happens to Dora? Dora's a good, she's a good person. But Ivy's better. So it would be unwise to choose good over better. What do you think? Yes, I, I do. You know, back in primary school, they used to say this thing that um, good, better, best. May I never rest best, uh, until my good is better. Uh -huh. uh, so. Likewise, the, the primary school I attended, you know, Oh, really? Back in Potaco. They have something similar. Mm, yeah. yeah. Back in Potaco, I'm in children's school. Um, they would say, you know, those uh, barrack children say good, better, better. badamba. Badamba is the baddest. It's the baddest. <laughs> <laughs> it's the baddest of all. You know, you're the one who's supposed to be calling the G Factor because no, no, you no. have. We won! We won! We won! We won what? We won the face of Las Giddy competition, I told you. Are you serious? Yes. I told you! I told you we were going to win. It's cause for celebration. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to you mm. too. Can I take you out for dinner? Please, to celebrate. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Can I get another hug? Oh, thank you. Congratulations. We won. This is good news, you know? I know. I knew it. I knew your photography was impeccable. You know, I said it the other day. 
Yes, you do. <sighs> wow. This is the best that I've had today. Wow. Let this me see. This is so nice. Wow. What's happening? Why isn't Gerald picking any of my calls? Did I do something wrong? I need to go and see him more. I need to know what's happening to us. I don't understand. I need to, I need to, I need to know. Why are you staring at me like that? Can I ask you a question? What is that? Do you still find me romantically unattractive? The food is nice. Yeah, I know the food is nice. Why are you trying to be evasive? Look, I just want to know if what I feel for you is mutual. I can't answer that question. Why? I thought you and I shared deep connection. That's the exact reason why I don't want to answer the question. Because I'm scared of the answer. What are you scared of? Heartbreak. I wouldn't deny the fact that I know we share a deep connection. But I'm scared you'll break my heart. I want to break your heart, Ivy. Look, what I feel for you, I've never felt like this for any woman. The connection is deep. It would be very stupid of me to want to break your heart. Why would I want to do that? I do love you. I love you, Ivy. Just indulge me, let me adore you, okay? Promise me, you're not going to hurt me. Promise, I'll never break your heart. <laughs> okay. I think I would have to go now. To my place? No, my place. Okay, cool. You don't want to know why I stay? Of course I do, but that would be another time. Not tonight. Sure, cool. Alright, I'm ready when you are. Okay, let me quickly finish it. I didn't know you were coming. How would you know I'm coming when you have blatantly refused to pick any of my calls? What is going on, Gerald? What is happening to us? Did I do something wrong? I 
No, you, you haven't done anything wrong. I, um, it's just that I... It's just that what? Talk to me. What is it? Are you seeing someone else? Child. You promised. You promised to be here always. You promised to love me. What did I do wrong? Tell me, I will fix it. Look. Please. Dora, you didn't do anything wrong, okay? You're a good woman. You're a good woman. Look, um, I'm sorry, I... There are a million and one men out there looking forward to meet you and love you, no. cherish you and appreciate you for who you are, okay? No, Gerald, please. I don't, I, I don't want anyone else. I want you. Please, we can fix this. Please. Look, um, please. I'm sorry. I, I found someone else. I'm really, I'm sorry. Gerald, don't do this to me, please. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 please. Please. Please, I, I beg you. Ask. Ah. Never joke with the cops <coughs> that loves you. Or play with the ones who are Don't always there for you. Please. You never know how deep a heartbreak can be. Or how far a broken soul can go just for revenge. You may think you're all smart, you're all smooth, you're all that. Come on, come on, never sleeps. And you may think you're all good, get in the way how you lie. But come on, come on, never forget how does it feel to walk in the shoes of the ones that you left high and dry. High. Never joke with the heart that loves you Or play with the ones who are always there for you You never know how deep a heartbreak can be Or how far a broken soul can go just for revenge You may think you're all smart, you're all smooth, you're all that mm -hmm. Come on, come on, never sleeps And you may think you're all good Get in the way how you like But come on, come on, never forget How does it feel to walk in the shoes Of the ones that you left high and dry High and dry What does it on the other side, now the tables are turned on you, turned on you. How does it feel to walk in the shoes of the ones that you left high and dry, high and dry? What does it feel like to be on the other side, now the tables
Yeah, that's that's the man. Mm. That's always the pain, Yeah, it's the pain. It's the pain. Wow. What kind of relationship is this? It's strange. Hey, Pierre, everybody. Is it my daughter? We. Yeah. Mikael. Yeah, uh, Mikael. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. And he's still young. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. You know, I. I want to propose to Ivy. You propose? Yeah, bro. Look, Frank. Um, <clears throat> Don't you think it is too early? No, 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 no. What I feel for Ivy, I've never felt like that for any woman. It's mm. real. Are you sure this is right? You know me now, you know. Look, um, I don't have to wait for a decade before I can tell a woman that suits me. Okay? I can categorically tell you right now that Ivy is just perfect for me. Mm -hmm. You know me, you know, <laughs> you know the G factor. I can just <laughs> yeah. make up stuff, you know? Well, it's okay, but, but, but you, <laughs> Gerald, mm -hmm. with a G factor, propose. Yeah, new beginning. <laughs> You'll be my best man, right? Of course, I wish you yeah. all the best. Cheers. Why not? <laughs> Congratulations once again. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Don't congratulate me yet because she hasn't said yes. And what do you expect her to say? I mean, you, Gerald. The G Factor. Oh, okay. The G Factor. <laughs> As you, you say, no. You believe the G Factor? No, 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 I believe. Hmm. It's a good thing, right? You know, I'm trying to be like you. Be faithful to one woman, one woman, one man, one man. No, no, no. It, it, it's, it's good, right? Trust me, it's good. Yeah, it's so, good. Yeah, so help me. One woman, one man, one man, one woman. Okay. Just a straight relationship. That's it, man. <laughs> no branching. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> cheers, cheers once again. Congratulations. Cheers to one man, one woman. One man, one woman. <laughs> one man, one woman. <laughs> You know, You're I making can, me blush. Yeah, I can stare at you all day, you know. You look like a doll. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful doll. Thank you. I'm sure when God was creating you, he didn't have any other requests from the other people. <laughs> it really took its time. Oh, please. Because you're well molded. Oh, stop with the flattering. No, you're beautiful. I know I used to say that back then, but uh, you didn't like it. But you look good. Thank you. Oh. Oh, food is in. Yeah. That was quick. All right, thank you. Thank right. you. Ooh, food sure looks good. He does. I hope it tastes good as well. Well, you will be the judge because I'm a guy, so I don't really know yeah. what food. All I want to do is to eat. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, so. A ring. A ring in my food. Can I see? Oh, it's beautiful. Ivy, I never knew the true meaning of love until I met you. You're the best thing that has happened to me. I can't imagine myself growing old with someone else but you. My life will never be complete without you. Look, I've never felt like this for any woman before. Words can't even express how much I love you. Will you marry me, Ivy? Please. Will you marry me? Will you? Yes. It looks beautiful, your figure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're Let's continue with our food. <laughs> Thank oh, you. This is beautiful. I hope you like it. I do. It's beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> it looks good on you, though. <laughs> I know. 
Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> are, are you his cook? What? Because of this apron, I'm his fiance. F fiance? Yes, fiance. Isn't the ring beautiful? <sighs> Anyways, we can sit and wait for him. I thought I told you to forget about him. <laughs> See what he has cost. <laughs> he proposed to her. Gerald is getting married. I'm supposed to be the one wearing that ring and not her. He chose her over you. <laughs> Don't you just move on and let it go? <laughs> Joe. Gerald will pay for all the tears and heartache he's cost me. He will pay. Dara, <laughs> there is no point in that. <laughs> okay. You have to let it go. I understand how you feel. I understand you feel heartbroken, but you have to let it go. This pain will only hold you down. Mm. You have to let go so you can move forward. Do you understand? Do you understand? <sighs> Expecting someone? No, I know. No, let me check. It could be. Have you secured the package? Good. Just hold on for further instructions. Hmm. They took him. Took him away. You clearly on the phone. What did you say happened? Uh, oh. Some some Max came in here last night and took him away. That is serious. Um, 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 have you contacted the police? Not yet. What if they come back and take me to? 
I, 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 no one is coming to take you away, okay? I mean, this is a very serious matter. It's a clear case of kidnap. So we must get the police involved. Please. Okay. Let me go in and change. Hello, who is this? That will help, Gerard. Hurt him, please. Yeah, we won't hurt him as long as you cooperate. I will cooperate, I promise. Good. First, don't let anybody know about this, even the police. Oh, okay, I, I won't contact anyone. And if you do, you will receive his dead body at your doorstep within one hour. Secondly, you have 48 hours to raise 50 million for his ransom. 50 million naira? How are we supposed to get that kind of money? I don't know and I don't care. I will call you to tell you where to drop the money. Okay, please, can you reduce... Hello? God. Let's pray your people cooperate. Million. Where do they expect us to raise such amount of money? Where? I don't know. I'm confused. That's exactly why I said we need to bring the police into this. Involve the police. No, we can't. Did you hear what he said? He's going to kill him if we involve the police. If anything happens to Gerald, I won't forgive myself. Well, that, 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 that is true, yeah. You're right. What do we do? I don't know. I don't know. What do we call? Huh? Uh, 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 please, please, please don't kill me. Please. Uh, 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 please, please. No. Stop. You know what to do for us to pardon you. Please, fifty million now is too much. Even if I empty my bank account, I can't, can't raise the money. No, really. Your people cannot raise 50 million naira. Come on, 50 million naira. Yes. Can we? Can we? Can we? If you see to turn off five million. What? Do you think we are beggars? No, 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 no. Eh? No, no, no. I'm You know what to do to gain your freedom. You have a house and a car. Right? I ask you! Yes, 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 yes sir. Then, you can sell them. Put the money with what you have in your account. Then you can raise up to 50 million naira or more than. Don't wreck me. Oh, you prefer that? No, no, no. Huh? No, no, no. Oh, what is freedom without money? Please, please, beg you, please. Really? Oh, give it to him. <laughs> Please. Please. I'll, I'll do as you say, please. Yeah. 
Good boy. Good boy. Hello? Yeah, Gerard has something to tell you. Hello, Hello, Ivy. Ivy. Hello, my love. Hope they didn't hurt you. Hope you're okay. I don't have such time for long questions here. Okay, sir. Hello, Ivy. These people will keep me. Give her the raise the ransom. Please. Sell the house, the car. And do whatever. Just sell it. Give them the money, please. Please. Baby, please. Your, your house and your car? But that is everything you have. Ivy, Ivy, Ivy. Your life is more important, okay? Just, just sell it. Sell it and give them the money, okay? Please. You can find the document of my house. In my bedroom. It's in the bedroom. Please, do it fast, fast, please. Please, baby, please, do it fast. Do it fast, okay? Let's watch and see. Now, how can we sell his car in the house? That means he will be left with nothing. This is why I said we need to involve the police. Let's get them involved and let's know what we're doing. Yes, we have to. Please, please, please. This is a very serious case. It is very serious. They said they're giving us just 48 hours to provide the money, else they're going to kill him. In that case, we need to act very fast. I think I know what to do. We will set a trap for them. How? Well, the moment they call you and tell you where to drop off the ransom money, my men will hang around the drop off location. And once they come for the money, we will swoop on them. Okay? Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Just Thank calm down. Take it easy, okay? okay. Everything will be sorted out. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank All you. Right. Where are we going to see who will buy the car and the house? Oh, well, I was thinking I would talk to a friend of mine that works in the bank um, to see if we can get a loan. Uh, we'll give them the, the, the documents of the house and the cars, Kulacha, uh, and when Gerald comes out. When the police uh, get the kidnappers and they get the money back, we'll just send the money back to them and uh, Collect what we give to them as collateral. Cool it's as simple as that. Okay. I hope it's going to work. That's a nice idea. God. What kind of a problem is this, eh? How did I go from planning a wedding to raising money to pay for ransom? It's all right, okay? Let's be optimistic. Gerald is going to come out and everything's going to be fine. You just have to take care of yourself first, all right? Okay. So I should be leaving now. Uh, you can go inside. Thank you so much. It's all right. Good night, huh? And Good make night. sure you lock your door. Never okay. joke okay. with the heart that loves Thank you. All right. I play with the ones who are always there for you. You never know how deep a heartbreak can be. Oh, how far a broken soul can go just for revenge. You may think you're all smart, you're all smooth, you're all that. <laughs> come on, come yeah. on, never sleep. <sighs> Thank you. I'm really glad that we could get along. Oh, yeah, me too. 
Uh, it's time for me to call the DPO and let him know that the kidnappers are going to call anytime soon. Okay, but I just pray that when this whole thing is over, Gerald is going to come back to me safe and sound. Yeah, of course he will. Okay, um, let me take the body to the room. Okay, um, so I'll have to call the DPO and let him know. Okay. And um, let him know that the kidnappers will be calling anytime soon. Yes, yes I do, but I have to talk to him first. I want to be sure he's okay. Oh, please, please don't hurt him. I have the complete money, please. How do I... Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm go... Uh, please, well... Where's Correction Road? I know the place. It's on the outskirts of town. Okay, then let me go and get the money so we can go. Okay, okay. I'll call my men so that there will be another lot. Okay. We need adequate backup. Okay, okay? thank you. Thank you. Thank Good. You. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? You have the money? Oh, that's very good. Oh, Madame will be very happy to hear this. Oh. You will see your people shot. <coughs> Now that we have dropped the money, what next? Well, my men are on red alert, waiting for who will do the pickup. Once they come for the money, we will trail them to their hideout. All we need to do is to wait for my men to give me a call. I hope they will call you very soon. Definitely. Just hope so. I'm, I'm going upstairs. DPO, 
This is taking too long. Haven't they come to pick the money? You just have to be patient. You know the way criminals behave. They will definitely come for the money. Um, DPO, why not call your men and find out what is really happening? Okay. Inspector Bankole, what's the situation report? Okay? Listen to me. You just have to be on the lookout, okay? No mistakes. All right. Nobody has come for the money. I guess they are waiting for the day to get darker. But I know they will come for it. It's all right. I have to get back to the station now in order to do other things. Once there is a new development, I will let you know. Okay, okay, if, you, if, you, if they call, we'll also inform you. Okay. Immediately. Okay. Madam, calm down, okay? Everything will be fine. We will definitely apprehend them. That's an assurance. Take care of yourselves. Um, Frank, my yeah. battery is low. Let me quickly get my charger from the bedroom. That's all right. Never joke with the heart that loves you Or play with the ones who are always there for you You never know how deep a heartbreak can be Or how far a broken soul can go just for revenge You may think you're all smart, you're all smooth, you're all that mm -hmm. Kamara, Kamara never sleeps And you may think you're all good Catching away how you like But Kamara, Kamara never forgets How does it feel to walk in the shoes Of the ones that you left high Hold on. Let's start again. Yes. Chuck. Chuck. My God. Who did all this to you? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. God. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Right? Mm. 
I need to take you to the hospital immediately. Mm. Where's Ivy? Ivy, uh, I've not seen Ivy since last night. What do you mean by you've not seen her? Uh, yeah, she told me she was going to get her charger in the kitchen. And um, I didn't see her again. I have searched everywhere. I still can't find her. I was trying to reach her on the phone, but her phones are switched up. I was even thinking um, I'll go to the police station to, you know, um, report. But I forgot myself and I slept off. Are you saying no. I have used my son. Uh, no, no, I think, um, no, yet, excuse me. Man, I need to take you to the hospital. Frank. Uh, mm. She just sent a message, you. I agree. Yeah, she sent to you. Hi, Gerald. How was your experience with my friends? I hope you enjoyed the beating and torture. From the video Shaka showed me, I'm sure they really dealt with you. Well, I'm sorry about that, but that's what you get for breaking my cousin's heart. You remember Natasha, right? <laughs> Gerard God will punish you. <laughs> You drove her to almost suicide. If not for my timely intervention, she would have been dead by now. Do you know how traumatized I was when I paid my favorite cousin a surprise visit after a long time and saw her on the verge of taking her life because of the heartbreak you cursed. We had to fly her out of the country to see a therapist. That was when I decided I was going to make you pay for hurting her. <laughs> Do you think I applied for a free internship at your company to gain experience? <laughs> I did that to get close to you so I could ruin you. That was why I made you think we shared something special. I don't like football. I only pretended to like it because I saw your social media page that you liked it. To walk in the 
shoes of the ones that you left high and dry, high and dry. What does it feel like to be on the other side? Now the tables are turned on you, turned on you. How does it feel to walk in the shoes of the ones that you left high and dry? High and dry What does it feel like To be on the other side Now the tables are Turned on you Turned on you Come on It's coming for you It's coming for you Cause come on Knows your name Oh come on It's coming for you Coming for you, come on, never forget. Just come on, coming for you, coming for you. Come on, no, Janelle. Come on, it's coming for you, it's coming for you. Come on, never. Come and know your name. Come and know your name. And this coming for you. I don't feel anything for you. Oh, maybe I do. But it's definitely not love. It's hatred and anger. Don't bother looking for me because you'll never find me. <laughs> Thanks to you, I can afford to travel to any part of the world and enjoy my life. Also, tell the DPO to withdraw his men because no one would come to pick the money. You know why? Because there is no money in that bag. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm really glad that we could get along. Oh yeah, me too. Uh, it's time for me to call the DPO and let him know that the kidnappers are going to call anytime soon. Okay, but I just pray that when this whole thing is over, Gerald is going to come back to me safe and sound. Yeah, of course he will. Okay, um, let me take the body to the room. Okay, um, so I'll have to call the DPO and let him know. Okay. And um, let him know that the kidnappers will be calling anytime soon. Come on, 
Never joke with the heart that loves you Or play with the ones who are always there for you You never know how deep a heartbreak can be Or how far a broken soul can go just for revenge You may think you're all smart, you're all smooth, you're all that Camera, mm -hmm. camera, never sleeps And you may think you're all good, getting away how you like But camera, camera, never The score has been settled. Karma is a bitch and her name is Ivy. Hi. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, 
Jewel. Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened? What happened to you? Have you ruined my life? What do you mean by Ivy ruined your life? Who's Ivy and what did she do? Oh, um, he's a um, supposed uh, fiancé. Oh, that lady. That lady. I'm so sorry, Gerald. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I, I've lost everything. I've lost literally everything I have. But you're alive. You should be grateful that those kidnappers didn't kill you. God forbid. Huh. Once you're alive, there is hope. You will recover everything you've lost. It's a matter of time. Okay? Why are you nice to me? After I hurt you and just hurt you. Look, aren't you supposed to be angry, upset? Yes, I was. But not anymore. <laughs> when I found out you were getting married to someone else, I was devastated. After Naomi spoke with me, I realized there was no need for me to hang on to so much anger, bitterness, pain. It will end up destroying me. So I, I decided to let go. For the sake of my sanity and peace of mind. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry for the pain I caused you. I'm really, I'm sorry, okay? I just wish I could turn back the hands of time. I mean, now I know better. I, if I knew what I knew now, I, I wouldn't have jilted you. It's okay. All of that is in the past now. I have decided to forgive you and move on. I've hurt you so much. And I'm sorry. I just wish you could take me back. But then again, I, I don't have anything. I've, I've lost everything. I need you to stop saying that. You're still alive. And once there is life, there is hope. You should learn to count your blessings. Okay? Thank you. Everything will be replaced. Everything except for a broken heart. I'm sorry, Gerald. I'm sorry I can't take you back. It's okay. I... I understand. <sighs> thank you for forgiving me. Yeah, thank you. Thank You're you welcome. for forgiving us. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so, um, the gifts, um, what is it for? Oh, yeah, uh, that. It's, <laughs> it's a peace offering. I actually came here to wish you a happy married life, and I brought gift. Thank you. Have you secured a package? Good. Just hold on for further instructions. Hmm. What package is that? I... It's a gift I ordered from Abuja for 
Gerald's wedding ceremony. Oh. I was just checking in with the rider to see if he has gotten the package. That's good. I mean, there is no point dwelling in so much anger and hate. <sighs> yes. Just so, so true. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel very free now that I've let go of the past. Where to go, girl? <laughs> That's my girl. Thank you. Thank you. Old. So, yes, that is why I'm here. Thank you. So, since the wedding is no longer holding, um, I think I should just keep the gifts. Okay? Huh? Huh? It's not yours. You said a gift is from here, right? Yes, yes. So, I don't know why you do that. Oh, uh, friend. Hold on. We need to get you to the hospital. You look very yes, tired. You need to take him to the hospital. You look very well. Okay. No, the gift is mine, right? No, no, no. no. Yes, but no, you... See, it's... Why do you need the whole again? No, so give me our gift. No, 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 no. What? Right. Come on, Come on, Come on, Never joke with the heart that loves you. Or play with the ones who are always there for you. You never know. How deep a heartbreak can be Or how far a broken soul can go Just for revenge You may think you're all smart You're all smooth You're all that mm -hmm. Come on, come on Never sleeps And you may think you're all good Getting away How you like Oh, oh, oh. 